Do you know that more than 400 Arabic colleges are there over all over the nation, which are producing more than 400, 4,000 plus Arabic graduates and postgraduates per year? And how many of them are really positioning themselves as Arabic physician or surgeon? Unfortunately, the answer is very low. Most of them, they do not position themselves as Arabic, purely Arabic independent physicians or surgeons. And what is the reason? What do you think about this? Why our IR graduates and postgraduates are not able to them pitch themselves as IR surgeon physician exclusively using my Ayurvedic medicine and catering the health services? What I thought, what is my observation and what are my beliefs are? First is <coughs> there is a lack of clarity about the IR concepts. Unfortunately, most of the students they do not get. The real concepts of the Ayurveda, the basic concepts of the Ayurveda, because of that which they do not feel confident to use them in their day to day practice. Second is the lack of a skill set. Unfortunately, most of the graduates are not exposed to the clinical examinations and clinical assessment based on the Ayurvedic principles. Third is the lack of focus. The Ayurvedic requires most of them they teach the, all the basics and the medicine but unfortunately they do not teach the how the monetization can be made out of the ayurveda and because of that the students they lack focus to learn the ayurveda in the aspect of as a as a as a profession and a commercialization of or rather not using commercialization maybe the word which is always misread but it may be taken as the monetization and fourth is uh, there is uh, what you call the lack of uh, professionalism and that is because of again the same the the visualization has been not made to the, uh, the graduates and postgraduates that they are the uh, white pro color professionals and they can they they do have the same dignity as the other streams of line of medicines are have uh, the uh, they are having and because of this mediocrity mindset the our Ayurveda graduates, they do not feel the professionalism in them, they do not inculcate the professionalism in them and because of that, they lack that confidence to go as a dignified professional to serve the health sector. And the last but not the least is the purpose. They lack the purpose because purpose is greater than the goal. Unfortunately, our Ayurveda graduates and postgraduates, most of the time, they, do, they lack both the goal as well as the purpose. And because of that, they do not focus on the, their studies during the academic as well as even if they focus, most of, the, most of the time they are not being taught how to monetize, how to position themselves as an Ayurvedic physician or surgeon or Ayurvedic professional rather. So I think this is a very pity or what, are the, what you call the very, um, uh, <coughs> very so, uh, pathetic condition of uh, our Ayurvedic graduates and postgraduates, and uh, it is a time we are supposed to give a different dimension to the Ayurvedic profession, and this should be treated as a profession rather than only a service. So, I think you you are also resonating with this one if you are an Ayurvedic graduate or postgraduates, and uh, if you resonate with me in the same way, so then comment and give what are the your perception what are the reasons what you that you feel that why are the graduation post graduation they fail to position themselves as ayurvedic professionals in the society